Hello everyone, today we are cleaning my main floor, so mainly kitchen, living room, dining room, entryway. I was feeling a little under the weather, so I made myself some tea before starting. If you are new here, my name is Layla. I make videos about cleaning, cooking, organizing, mom life, and some other stuff thrown in there. So if that interests you, I'd love if you'd consider subscribing. Okay, so I always start with the kitchen. I went to get the drying mat and my kitchen towels from the dryer because I washed everything earlier that morning. And my dishwasher, my dishwasher, my dish rack is in the dishwasher. So that's why I'm just laying everything out on the mat. So I'm taking out the small appliances and just clearing the counter and just doing like a little deep clean of the counter and wiping everything down. I feel like this is something that I don't do often enough and because it's on the kitchen counter, things tend to get really, really grimy. Here I'm just pouring a little bit of vinegar into the uh, water boiler. Is that what it's called? Electric kettle is the word that I was looking for. The vinegar really helps to descale it and I find that the kettle works better every time I do this. I feel like it heats faster. Um, it's something that I should also do more often. I have this little awkward nook here that I use to put my cookbooks. Um, and to put my little uh, food chopper. I don't really know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, I needed to give that a good clean. I also took a magic eraser to take out the scuffs on the wall. All right, so next is the microwave. It definitely needed a good clean. I already took the glass plate and put it in the dishwasher. Um, and I usually use lemon and water to clean it, but I didn't have any more lemons. So I ended up using baking soda. I Googled it, apparently it's a thing. Put baking soda into a bowl with water and you turn the microwave on for five minutes and then you just let it sit there. You'll notice I actually forgot it. I come back 40 minutes later and the steam mixed with the baking soda really gets all the grime out. Next up is the dining room. It's very hard for us to keep the dining room table clear. I would love to be one of those people that just has one vase of flowers in the middle of their table at all times. That is just not us. It is a catch-all for anything and everything. I still decided to just give it a good tidy and just put away anything that was on the table that didn't have to be there. It stayed like that for a whole maybe hour. Um, but it gave me peace of mind during that hour.
right now it's on to the living room so it's really funny because when I was pregnant and nesting I ordered that faux olive tree thinking I was gonna make the living room you know all nice and aesthetic but that idea flew out the window uh, we rearranged the couch we got rid of our coffee table because it was like a hazard for my son and um, now we have a permanent changing station to the left where we keep diapers wipes cloths just you know everything he needs for those everyday spills i know that this is just a season of life and we can't really prioritize having a nice living room but that's okay i don't mind it we also have that huge playpen to the right that thing is such an eyesore it really is but it is so so functional um, I don't know what we would have done without it because I can get a lot of things done when I just leave my son in there I hadn't given my carpet a good wash in a while and God knows it needed it needed a good wash. So I took out my trusty Bissell. I love this thing. It's an upholstery cleaner. And you start by spraying the carpet first with the detergent. You let it sit for five minutes. And then you go back in and it sucks out, you know, the water and it scrubs it and it cleans it. I really, really love it. I use it on my couch, on my uh, carpets. I have used it on my mattress, on my headboard, and I really love this little machine. It's really, really practical. By the way, please don't mind that big stain on my sofa. It's not a stain, it was actually just wet uh, because my son took out his wipes and made a pile on the couch. So this is after I clean, look at all that. It is so gross, but so satisfying. So here is the playpen that I was talking about. As you can see, it's huge, it's an eyesore, it takes up a lot of place. But when I leave them in there and I can get things done, like in the kitchen, I, it, you know, I mean, I have peace of mind and I make sure that it's a safe space for him. So right now he was sleeping and I know that it's pointless to clean up in there because it gets messy the second he gets back in there, but I never want him to feel overwhelmed. So anytime he's taking a nap, I like to clean up inside and just kind of make it less overwhelming for him. I also recently got him these uh, mega blocks and he really enjoys them. He's too young to start building with them, but he really likes undoing them. So I just built a tower for him to undo and he gets a good, at least 30 minutes of play with that. So these boxes have been in the middle of our hallway for at least three days and honestly it's just because every time i have big boxes that need to be recycled i just kind of leave them there for my husband to take care of it take them out put them in the recycling bin but he threw out his back and i was just too lazy to take them out so today was the day that i was going to take care of these boxes So once everything is clean, I finish up with mopping. I start with the hardwood floors in the hallway, make my way to the dining room, and I finish up with the kitchen. Today I did not clean the bathroom on the main floor, um, and I didn't clean my entryway. I'm going to probably leave that for tomorrow. But that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you found some cleaning motivation. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.